channel the savory flavors at home today we are going to make pesara pappu pappu pulusu or yellow lentil stew also known as moong dal sambar i hope you would love the taste of it telugu lo recipe kosam description lo ichin link follow avandi pesara pappu pappu pulusu is a traditional andhra style basic yellow lentil stew which is commonly eaten as a side dish with veggie stir fry or can be taken as a simple lentil soup pulusu or stew recipes are very common across south india and are generally made as a side dish to rice it releases a tangy sweet mix of flavors from tamarind lentils and the vegetables we make pappu pulusu with yellow gram as it falls in comfort food category which is very soothing to the stomach and reduces body heat it is a soothing food for elderly people at home as well as for someone who is pregnant or nursing as it is easily digestible moong dal is high in protein and potassium and contains negligible amount of cholesterol and has a low carb count let's see the ingredients yellow gram 1 cup turmeric powder 1/4 teaspoon onions 2 cups sliced lengthwise cut onions just before using forgot to take individual onion pick tomatoes 2 cups cut into medium size pieces mango 1 cup cut into small pieces mango is optional the mango which i used is little ripen you can take raw mango green chillies 8 cut into half and slit till half length ginger 1 and 1/2 inch piece finely grated salt 3 teaspoons tamarind medium lemon size soaked in water for 10 minutes coriander leaves medium size bunch finely chopped sambar powder 3 teaspoons few people use cumin powder but stew tastes good with sambar powder oil 2 tablespoons mustard seeds 2 teaspoons cumin seeds 1 and 1/2 teaspoons asafoetida 1/4 teaspoon red chillies 4 curry leaves few take enough water in a cooker to boil yellow gram take yellow gram in a bowl wash and drain water completely add 3 cups water add turmeric powder cover the bowl with a lid and put it in cooker place the cooker lid along with weight switch on stove and put the flame at high cook until 3 to 4 minutes switch off stove and let cooker cool completely take 1 liter water in a deep pan and put it on stove at high flame meanwhile slice onions lengthwise once water starts boiling add onions tomatoes and mango pieces add mango seed also for good taste add green chillies ginger salt and turmeric powder stir once and let them boil meanwhile squeeze the soaked tamarind and take the pulp in a bowl Keep stirring at regular intervals and boil till pieces become soft. Let's check whether the pieces are soft or not. Take one mango piece. It should be soft like this. add tamarind pulp stir once and let it boil keep stirring at regular intervals and boil for 5 minutes
Take out bowl from cooker and mash yellow gram completely like this. Add mashed yellow gram. Stir once and reduce the flame to medium. Add coriander leaves and sambar powder. Mix well and let it boil. Add water to adjust consistency, otherwise it gets thick once it is cooled. Stir once and let it boil for 2 to 3 minutes. Keep stirring at regular intervals to avoid sticking to the bottom of the pan. The consistency of moong dal sambar should be like this. It gets thick once it is cooled. Switch off stove. Place a small ladle on stove at low flame for tempering. Add 2 tablespoons oil. Add mustard seeds, cumin seeds, asafoetida and red chilli pieces. Stir once and fry till mustard seeds crackle. Add curry leaves. Stir once and fry for a minute. Switch off stove and pour tempering on stew. Mix well. Yellow gram stew looks like this. That's it. Tangy and yummy. Pesara pappu pappu pulusu or yellow gram stew or moong dal sambar is ready to eat. Relish it by mixing it in hot steamed rice along with little ghee or oil, munching papad or fryans. This stew is a good side dish with any fry curries, especially with colocasia or arbi fry and ivy guard or tindora fry and also with kandipodi rice or mixed lentils powder rice. So, we have seen how easy it is to make pesara papu papu pulusu or yellow lentil stew at home. You try it once and let me know how it is in the comment section below. If you like this recipe, please like the video, share it among your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for visiting the savory flavors. Okay, bye for now. See you soon with another interesting dish.